good news for Dominion customers and the environment. Joining me to talk about new clean energy efforts that could save you some money is Kevin Curtis, Vice President of Technical Solutions. As you know, the streets of Washington, D.C. were flooded this weekend with thousands of people who are concerned about the president's policy when it comes to energy and the environment. Take us into the future. What will Dominion do down the road to provide energy while protecting the environment? Well, Regina, thank you for having me today. Uh, today, Dominion announced a long-term plan that includes significant investments in clean energy. Part of that investment will include solar, along with natural gas and nuclear. So as we look into the long-term needs of our customers, and we think about how we can make the, the environment, uh, our, our sources cleaner and the environment cleaner, uh, we look to solar, natural gas, and nuclear. Is the electric grid prepared for bringing solar online in a major way? Not exactly. Uh, that's a great question. Over the generations uh, up to now, we usually have flow from our generating plants out into the community, but with the implementation of solar energy, we now have sources out in the distribution system that is providing two-way flow back onto the transmission, to the distribution and transmission system. So the grid's not equipped to handle that. So it will require a modernization of the grid to make it smarter, stronger, and greener. How do you fund that? We look at, as part of that long-term plan, we balance our investments in generation, transmission, and distribution, and we'll make investments in all those areas, and specifically in the distribution side, the smarter and stronger aspects. We'll look at smart meters, We'll look at infrastructure to upgrade and take advantage of advanced technology. We'll also look at investments to replace aging infrastructure. Ultimately, that gives customers more information about their usage. It prepares uh, our system to allow communication and management of the flow of two-way sources of energy from those new solar installations onto our system from different areas that have not typically had that occur. Your customers want to protect the environment, but they're also concerned about cost. What can your customers expect in the next 15 years? Well, a big part of making it smarter is to give customers more intelligence about their usage. So with smart meters and having real-time information about your usage, it can empower our customers to have more control over that, that use of energy. And in addition, we always place emphasis on our investments and how that might affect rates. And I'm, I'm proud to say that our rates in Virginia or lower than the East Coast average and lower than the national average. And so we focus on that when we make these investments. And as we go forward, we'll continue to do that so that our customers are getting good value. Mr. Curtis, thank you so much for joining us. All of us can do more to save energy. Thank you. Thank you, Regina. Well, in the headlines, North Carolina.